Hi everyone, merhaba. This is Ayşe Nur Altan. I'm very excited. We are making Turkish pide. It's a well-known bakery product with different kind of fillings and shapes uh, depending on the region of Turkey. It's very popular everywhere, either with ground beef or a cheese filling. Any kind of filling is very delicious. Kind of a weekend treat. Today is also Sunday and my daughter is eagerly waiting to eat the pide with delicious iron drink. I'm gonna show you that too. So let's begin. I'm gonna use two cups lukewarm water. One teaspoon sugar. About 25 grams fresh yeast. You can use one tablespoon dry. And first I'm gonna add about five cups flour and then add gradually more until it is unsticky and smooth along with two teaspoons salt My dough is done. I just make it bowl kind of, doesn't matter, and uh, wait until it doubles. And meanwhile, we can prepare the uh, filling. First, uh, I'm gonna prepare the minced meat filling. Okay, we're gonna use onion, tomato, peppers. Traditionally, you cut them with a special knife. It has two handles and in like a round shape and you cut it like this, everything together. But since we are a home cook and I want to show you the easy way, I'm going to use food processor for it. One medium sized onion, two green peppers, one red pepper. This is kind of big so I'm going to use it about this much. And one medium sized tomato, 250 grams ground beef. Along with the salt and pepper, I'm adding one teaspoon each tomato and red pepper paste. If you cannot find a red pepper paste, don't worry. It will be still delicious, but uh, if you can, make sure to use. And you can also make it, I have the recipe on my channel. spinach filling simply process one small onion along with two handful of spinach some salt black pepper and process until cut in small pieces my spinach filling is ready too and next the cheese filling I'm going to use two kinds of cheese, one kaşar and white cheese, Turkish white cheese. You can use mozzarella or any kind of cheese that can ooze as well. Finally, some sucuk. I have my preparations ready, so the dough, let's get it now and then shape it. So let's cut this into half first, cut this into two again. I cut it into half and then a one part into six and one part into four I'm gonna make. Turn it into bowls, sprinkle some flour and then we're gonna make like long At 
it's about two full tablespoon of from the mincemeat filling and spread it evenly then fold about one centimeter from the sides and press it and pinch the end and you see it's it gets even longer if I had more space I could stretch it a bit and I made it like a little bit uh, this way so I can stretch it a bit more and I'm just gonna uh, egg wash it uh, bake in 250 degree preheated oven as soon as I pop it I continue to shape the others This time I'm gonna uh, use my spinach filling along with some sujuk and cheese. You can mix them according to your taste or orders from the family. Add from the filling. And seal it in the middle like this. And fold it to one side and you can now make it a bit more longer you might need to alternately change the it trays so the top and bottom can cook evenly. I cut the other half of the dough into five, two of them are bigger. This time used minced meat filling for two and the other one only with kashar and white cheese mixture. Make sure to press the sides to, so they don't open in the oven and bake. As soon as my pides are out from the oven, I brush them with butter and close it to keep soft. I shape the last two dough pieces into round like a pizza and top it with cheese and sujuk. So this is the third party and as soon as got it from the oven, I brush it with butter and the microphone, I just smash the microphone. I'm gonna transfer them here too since this is more hot. If I'm waiting for the other two, let's make the iron. You wouldn't believe what happened, just my camera battery died, my battery charger even died, it's not charging, so it took me for another 15 minutes to figure out which camera I should use, and back to making the iron, with the yogurt, some salt, normally I add cold water and just whisk, one third yogurt and two thirds the water would be nice you can make it thicker if you like traditionally we crack an egg two minutes before taking the pide out from the oven but uh, it waited because of the technical problem but still i wanted to show you so let's try some here are the last two ones It's really good, it's worth it. I'm gonna continue to eat with my family now. Make sure to make iron. Let me also show you how you eat this one. You get from here, you break the yolk and enjoy. Thanks for watching.
I hope to see you in another delicious Turkish food recipes and travel vlogs. Afiyet olsun.